Hello everybody, my name is Nemo. Welcome back to Jules the Planes Rock 2013. We're playing that Around the World series. And last time I played Grinning Malice, now I'm playing Collective Mic. Let's get a game. Pop is who we're playing against, or... And... Aha, aha, aha. I still need a planes for a such and such, and I need a forest for such and such. And such. But here's one that can get either which I wanted to get, so that's good. Uh, hopefully we'll draw whatever. Um, we'll draw one and then we'll know which to get. Before I play the Civic Wayfinder part, yeah. So it looks like we're playing against Berserker Rage or uh, Mana Mastery. Either one. Um, Berserker Rage would be kind of interesting. Okay, never mind. It is Mana Mastery. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Who plays Berserker Rage other than me? <laughs> I don't know what it is about that deck, but I found that a lot of people just can't figure it out when really it's so easy to build that deck. You just take out everything that costs too much. Well, anyways, let's swing in for two. And the boop. And then we'll drop the Civic Wayfinder, which is going to get me a forest. And we'll be fine and dandy for playing all our spells. So that's good. That is quite useful. Um, hopefully we can surprise him with the Overrun before he kills everything with a Lava Lanch or similar. Who knows? <coughs> I can't obviously land screw him or anything. He's just going to kill my killed mage. That's fine. Um, I got plenty of plays. I wasn't really planning on using its ability. So you basically just kill the 2-2. And... I want this out first. I reckon... Let's see. I'm, I'm dealing him 2 here. I'm not going to play this. Um, I'm dealing him 2 here. So... He's going to 16, then with the Midnight Haunting, I'll be able to deal him 5 plus uh, 8. Which is 13, but he's at 16, so I wouldn't be able to kill him then. Okay. In that case, I play this. Otherwise, I would play the Midnight Haunting in the hopes that he just, you know, lets it go, ramp some more or something. Doesn't think much of it, and, and I kill him with Overrun. But um, I can't actually kill him with Overrun next turn had I played the Midnight Haunting, so... Never mind all that. He's going to Maelstrom Pulse this. This is fine. Uh, yeah, fine. Totally fine. I'm just going to play the Wildleaf Leash here, I think. Um, MM, MM. I mean, this hits him for free more damage. Uh, for free damage instead of 2, which brings him down to 13. Uh. Yeah, I think that's a fine play. He's tapped out now. Um, I'm just playing this when I can get in. I don't know. He'll probably have enough removal that he can kill anything anyways. So playing this first to draw out removal, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to go for the quick victory with Overrun here. Try and get that done as fast as possible. Because I think that's the best chance of me winning this game. And it's a pretty good chance at it. Um, unfortunately, hit my pop filter. <laughs> Talk about Pop, he's drawn cards and he only has this open. Well, um, yeah, he's dead. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm hitting him for exactly 13 here. Right? Yep, 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 that's the case. Well, GG. Shouldn't have rammed so much. Should have played something. Don't know what else to say. I throw in. That's a wrap, everybody. That's a wrap. Yo, yo, what up, yo? Okay, no, not that kind of wrap. We'll see if he wants a rematch. I'm alright with rematches. In this series, at least. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Pop is playing in Evolving Wilds. He's playing more than 60 cards, by the way, but it's not that much more. Um, he's probably just Mana Mastery again, he didn't really take his time to change decks or anything, so I'm guessing that's the case. I'm gonna get a Planes here. 
and we'll say go. No, he's Rakdos. He tricked me. He tricked me. Alright, well, this guy is coming down. And Fist of Iron Wood next. So I'm gonna keep this guy alive. Um, this guy's ability only matters if he's ahead. And he's not gonna be ahead if I get, get to smash in with this guy after Fist of Iron Wooding it. Um, he does have a Demonic Tutor here, which is probably gonna get him a 5 4 dude, or like Grave Titan, or I don't know, a Mask of Worm would be pretty good against me unless I get to get these out first. Um, so yeah, plenty of good options on his side. You could also try and destroy my lands. Like I said, plenty of options. Maybe he just got a land because he's mana screwed. That could also be the case. Who knows? Who knows? Well, that's actually... I don't know. No, it's slightly worse than playing Fist of Iron, would you? Because the thing is, he doesn't have mana open now to instantly destroy this guy in a response. Which would kill both my guy and the two tokens I get. Um, so I need to play this while he's tapped out, whereas this I can play later. Um, when he does have that instant destruction open as an option. And uh, as a side bonus, he doesn't he doesn't get to attack with his 2-1 now. So that's also pretty good. Um, he probably got a liege, by the way. A liege, a liege. Alright, not too big of a problem. Um, I think I'll just take the four. Yeah, that's fine. Because um, the more tokens I have, the bigger this guy gets. So, whatever. Not a big deal. Um, so I can play the Midnight Haunting here. I could also play uh, Wildleaf Liege. Um... World Leaf Leash would make this a 4-4 already, then I can also bring a token and keep one back. I think that's decent. Um, otherwise, like, the, you can go for Midnight Haunting first and then World Leaf Leash. Um, and I'm keeping one token back just to block. Because uh, obviously this is a 6-6 already. Um, it would have already been a 5-5 even if I brought everything but the Leash. Um, it would have been big enough to survive him blocking it. If Ash and more leash, but whatever. Um, I, I don't think he can even attack with that. But he will. Well, this guy is trampled, so... He only has four toughness here. Um, let's see, there's a land. I think I just played leech and attack. That seems to be the best play here. Because he'll block this, he'll block one of these, and then he'll take six, nine. Okay, yeah. Good! That's the win there. This deck is just that fast. Yeah, it's still enough damage. Yep, yep. GG. We'll get another game against someone else. Well, we're back. I got a two land hand. Uh, it's not bad. It is not bad. If I get a land, I'm I'm quite good and dandy here. Uh, but I think this deck can do slightly better than this. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'll take this. The other hand had the potential of getting mana screwed, and I was on play, which means one less draw step to uh, get my land before it matters. Playing against Mr. Angry Poo Poo. Alright, there's the overrun, there's that win condition. Pretty good, but with the sigil blessing, I, I just need more dudes at this point. Um, yeah, more dudes would be fine and dandy. There's a dude. There is a dude. Getting in for two. No, no double sprout here. 
In fact, I would be fine trading this guy for a double sprout. That would be card advantage for me. Alright, so let's see. This guy is going to be 4-4. This guy is going to be 4-4. Swing in for 8 next turn. He's got a Wood Elves. That is not going to be enough to save him from the 8 damage that is coming at him. Unless he wants to jump block. And which he may very well not want to do. Because he could have... Um, natural Order. So. Boonk boonk. Do 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 do. Alright, he's a 10. I mean, this overrun next turn if I draw a forest will probably just kill him. Um, this deck is so fast. <laughs> Alright, Fractusk does help a lot for him. Um, so that's good. It will not survive the Sigil Blessing. However, and I can play this, get a... No, I need to tap to forest because I want a forest. Let's do that. Get a forest, play it, and attack. He's going to block here, I'm going to sigil blessing it. Hit him for... Blah, blah, blah. Six, uh, okay, he's going to block there. Well, in that case I can just sigil blessing something else. That's even better. That is even better. Boom. Take you down to free, and I've got an overrun in your hand, which I can and will cast. You're gonna need your overscale worm. That is not it. Alright, he can bounce something. Um, gonna bounce the liege. Alright, I think you still kill him. Yeah, I still kill him. <laughs> There's no uh, fog in his deck, so whatever. Overrun. And GG, Mr. Angry Poo Poo. He's probably very angry and poo pooing his pants at this attack. Alrighty yo! Can I just really make that joke? I just really made that joke, everybody. I just really made that joke. Alright, well. And we'll give him a rematch if he wants one. Mr. Angry Poo Poo. Rematch time! May just even make the best out of free if I lose, which is not very likely because I got overrun and a bunch of dudes. Alright, keep getting a planes. Mr. Angry Poo Poo, if he's really angry, could be playing goblins here, which is not actually a bad matchup for this deck since I've got a lot of dudes I can drop early that can stimmy his assault. Look at those fancy words I'm using. Stimmy his assault. Alright. I think I'm gonna use this turn 4. That is what I'm thinking and that'll give me enough time to see if I draw a forest or a plains. In the meanwhile, so I know what to get with the Evolving Wilds, um, Mr. Angry Poo Poo is actually running Pack Instinct. Alright, so those two will trade. Um, am I alright with that? I guess I am. I mean... This guy is good with this guy, but... Guess I could sack this to save it. That's actually not a terrible idea. Um... I think I'll do that. This thing is worth more than this thing, in my opinion. So... <clears throat> He doesn't have, like, a lot of spot removal, he doesn't have mass removal, so... Yeah, I'll go for it. I will go for it, and there's nothing in my hand right now that is worth more saving. Uh, worth it more to save than the Quasali Pride Mage at the moment, so... What else? Um, Leatherback Bailoff is certainly big enough to stimmy my assault, in this case. Um... So I just say go and midnight hunting here and get a forest. We'll do that immediately just to not get screwed by lag. Um, that means I can then overrun for a bunch of damage but not enough to kill him. I mean it would be 3 plus 3 is 6 and plus 8 is uh, 14. 
So that will be 14 damage, which is not enough, like I said, but uh, with the Selesnia Guild Mage and hopefully getting one turn in to deal him some damage, it will be enough in two turns. So Midnight Haunting. It's gonna haunt your dreams, it's gonna haunt your nightmares. It is a Midnight Haunting. Alright, not enough mana to play this and use it. Um, I can pop away this thing which uh, he's at one two three four five six well if he drops land he can still use the all get all those two twos so I don't think it's really worth sacking this to get rid of that um, if he doesn't draw land of course then you know hmm I don't know Alright, Obstinate Bailoff is gonna gain him enough life to survive, maybe, maybe, cause let's see, take the damage, um, now we're getting, both getting into danger zone here, don't have enough to play Fists of Ironwood and Overrun, um, yeah, so we've got this, let's see here, this is gonna deal him 6, and 8, 14, and 5 is 19. Not even enough, even if he doesn't block. So, that's no good. Um, I think I'll just deal him 2 with the spirits. And then we'll play uh, Fist of Ironwood. If he brings everything, I can block with those. We'll give this guy trample. Still use this to make another token, which I think is a better move than, than pumping these to deal two more damage, because uh, the token is gonna deal uh, four damage with overrun. Um, there's a big blocker. Make a token. Um, how much damage do we got now? Let's see. Uh, we got 8 unblockable damage, then we got 6 on this which is gonna get blocked, we've got 5 on this which is gonna get blocked, and I guess 2 of these is gonna get blocked and then 4 more, so 4 and 8 is 12, not enough. Um, so that would not help. Um, so we just play the Lenin Armor Guard, just get the dude, the dude out. And attack him with the flyers again. This is gonna get him a 1-1 one, one on my turn and on his turn. So that's good for him. Those are just jump blocks when I when I overrun, so. I just need to get, get him down enough that the overrun kills him. Is what it comes down to. He is not really in a position where he can attack me either. So that's good. Park would suck, by the way. Alright, with 8, he can kill me with a Primal Surge. So I need to block. <clears throat> Alright, so... 8 damage here, 6 is blocked. 5 is, minus 1 is 4, so we've got a uh, 12 there, yeah, I've got enough to kill him here, if he has fog, then, you know, I'm screwed, but we gotta go for it. We have got to go for it. Everybody's in. <clears throat> he probably has Primal Bellow, is what I'm putting him on, actually. Which would not save him, so. There we go, that is another game. And we won two best of threes, I guess. So, that's good. GG. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Bin Nemo. My name will still be Nemo next time. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.